Hey loves, welcome back to Lovely DIY Home Decor and More, and today I have a flip book tutorial for you. So this video is actually my first requested video um, from a Facebook um, buddy that I have, um, one of my planner groups. So I decided to throw up this video just because it was requested. So what I'm doing here is taking some sheets of scrapbook paper pads that I had picked up from Tuesday morning a while back and these are the six by six paper pads and um, so now I'm just kind of like organizing and trying to get my colored pattern um, together so what I did was um, I have eight sheets in total here only because the um, paper pad sheet itself is not a double sided so if you want to make them double sided um, you would have to take two sheets and glue them together. So I'm using my adhesive dot glue that I picked up from the 99 cent store just to um, use that as my adhesive for the sheets. Um, you can use whatever adhesive you have on hand. Um, this is just what I happen to have, so this is what I'm going with. So like I said, you have eight sheets all together. Um, the flip book is gonna have four sheets, but since we're doing back and front, um, you would need eight. And again, this is the six by six paper pads that I used. And now I'm just kind of making sure that everything is aligned correctly. And the adhesive is kind of tacky, so it gives you room to play around with it if you need to adjust it and stuff like that. So that's what I'm doing. Now I'm just going over and making sure that um, everything's lined up. If you happen to have a little excess hanging over, you can just easily just trim that down. Um, you don't worry. Don't worry about it not being even because the washi tape is going to cover it anyway. And now that that's all together, you just want to go ahead and line up your sheets and, um, get them in the order that you want them to be in so I'm um, that's what I'm doing now just playing around and see you know what colors I want to go wear and I think that's um, that's exactly how I want it to be so now I'm just gonna take um, one of my washi tapes that kind of coordinate with the paper pads um, and I'm going to start putting this together so what you want to do is make sure that you have a little spacing between the sheets of paper um, before you add your washi tape and this is just going to allow you to have the um, flip motion I guess or it's going to allow you to actually flip the page so that's where you get the word um, flip book from so again um, I just want to give a quick shout out to scrap diva 29 because it was her video that actually inspired me to make this um, so yes and now, uh, as you can see, I placed down the washi tape, and now I'm just trimming off the excess of it, the excess of it. So, you want to make sure you do that. And then you want to, once you um, trim off the, the the excess washi tape, you want to go ahead and flip the um, pages over so you can do it on the other side as well. Now that's that. That's done. I'm just flipping it over, and I noticed that. Um, I had too much of a spacing, so I'm just readjusting that. And then I will apply the washi tape again. And you're gonna do the same process for um, all of the sheets. You're gonna, one by one, adhere them together with the washi tape. So we added our last and final page. Now I'm again just cutting the washi tape and making sure that everything is pressed down securely. Now what you're going to notice is that when you close the book, um, it may not close properly. So you're going to have to do an extra step. Um, and you, if you have a paper trimmer, you need to use that or you can actually just use scissors. Um, as you can see here, I'm flipping it through just to make sure that it closes properly and I'm noticing that I am going to need to trim just a little tiny bit off the edge um, just to kind of make sure that it closes properly. So, 
<clears throat> so like I said, you want to take your paper trimmer or your scissors, whichever you have on handy, or um, on hand, I'm sorry, and you just want to kind of measure just a tiny little bit. Um, it's like a real tiny trim that you're going to need to do. So I'm just going to try to line everything up just to make sure that I get the cut that I need. I noticed here that um, I had to kind of switch the angle of how I was going to cut this just to make sure that the paper didn't move. There you go. So I did that and now I'm just going to go ahead and check to see if it closes the way I need it to and I still notice that I may have to trim just a little bit more. So I go ahead and line it up again. And there you go. That's that's as much as I would need to cut off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and see that it closes properly, and that's exactly what I want. So sometimes you would have to do it to the other side as well, but um, in this case I didn't have to. So now we can just go ahead and start um, embellishing it. Um, I'm just gonna pull out some of my little supplies that I have on hand. This was a paper. Um, a, a thank you card note set that I picked up from the dollar fifty bin at Michael's and I just trimmed it um, down to size to where it'll fit down to um, the paper itself and then I'm gonna use the same dot runner um, adhesive just to kind of um, glue that down and then at this point um, you can just go ahead and whatever supplies you have on hand you can go ahead and um, kind of figure out what your layout is going to be. Um, I really didn't have anything set so I was just grabbing what I could, um, what I had on, on, on hand and you know just playing around with it. And I'm also going to use one of the envelopes that came with the card um, pack. You can also um, make your own envelopes if you know how to. And I'm just figuring out where I want to place it and I figured this is the spot that I want to place it in so I'm gonna glue that down as well and then I'm just gonna kind of fast forward through just to kind of show you um, what the end result looks like um, because from here it's pretty much basically what you want to do um, for your own layout So far I have some things that I laid down and um, I'm just kind of playing around with some of the supplies that I have. Um, here I use, you know, just keep flipping back and forth and just trying to place um, where I think they would look nice aesthetically. So pretty much this is what I ended up with. Um, I'm not sure if I'm completely happy with how it turned out. Um, again, keep in mind that this is just my second time doing this. So I think what was bothering me was the fact that I, um, I don't know, just like the supplies that I had on hand really didn't coordinate. Or I didn't have like a set theme going on. It just felt like it was all over the place. But this is just to show you like the basic of what it could look like. Um, you know, practice more. I hope to get better. Um, I think what really counts is just making sure that you have um, enough uh, supplies or embellishments to make it look like what you want. So basically I just like kind of worked with what I had and um, I gave, you know, some some sticky notes and some goodies and stuff like that that I had on hand. But this particular flip book isn't going to anyone this is just kind of a demonstration for you for the video purpose but um, other than that it's really not that bad um, I have to say just for my second time I was really more pleased with the first one that I made um, for my planner buddy but um, 
again you know you gotta work with what you got <laughs> so but i hope that you guys got at least the gist of how to make it and um like i said um the original inspiration for this came from scrap D diva 29 she has a great video up um on how to do this so um if you want to refer back to her video check it out and just let her know that i um mentioned her and sent you guys to her as well and yeah so i think that's it i'm not gonna fuss with it anymore i'm just gonna add this little paper clip that i made and i think that's it i think that's pretty much done <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys haven't already subscribed, please do so. And have a great day.